Bill Trailer was born a slave back in the 1850s. From the minute the sun lit the sky until it disappeared in the night, slaves picked cotton in the hot, dusty fields. Young Bill Trailer saved up memories of all these times deep within himself. When the Civil War ended in 1865, Bill and his family were free. And even though the war was over, some of the fighting continued. Bill spent a lifetime on the trailer's land. By 1935, Bill was way up in age and all by himself. He was 81 years old. Bill packed his bags and headed to the nearby city of Montgomery. During the day, Bill wandered the streets. It was an exciting place to be. But Bill didn't make much money. He soon became homeless. A friend offered Bill a place to sleep in the storage room of their business, the Ross Clayton Funeral Home. But Bill became lonely. He missed his family. He missed the life on the farm. Deep inside, Bill found all those saved up memories. Bill picked up the stub of a pencil. Then he began to draw, pouring out memories of his life in pictures. I wanted to be plowing so badly today. I drawed me a man plowing. Whatever became of Bill Trailer, the self-taught people well, you'll just have to read the book to find out. It just happened when Bill Trailer started to draw. Written by Lee and Low Books, New Voices Honor Women, Don Tate. Illustrated by R. Gregory Christie. Published by Lee and Low Books. <laughs>